Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Darling, are you sure about this? I am not a normal girl. My dear, you're perfect. I only wish I had realized that sooner. Then by the power invested in me, I pronounce you man and wife. You helped me make a very big decision. Thank you. I think I know what this love is now. Um, wow, congratulations. Years, I never realized how much she meant to me until she said something. Mr. Zawicki. I don't care what anyone says. We're in love. Edna? Hey, Edna. I'm so happy. Well, that was, um... That was a bit unexpected. First off... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Steven Plays Fallout 4. Uh, yeah, I was I was on my way to uh, to leave town to do something, and then as I was walking by, they were in front of the All Faiths Chapel, chatting it up, and, uh, looks like our actions last episode led to a marriage. Which is pretty exciting. Also, there's people in the background, like, running around. I'm not really sure what that's, uh... What's going on there? Anyway, um, on today's episode, I'm actually on my way back over to the Hardware Town place just to see if Demo is still there. I had a lot of comments telling me to go grab Demo's gun. It may have despawned, which is not a terrible loss, um, but, you know, we're, we're gonna go back and check. Also, I noticed something in editing that no one else caught. In editing, I saw that there was another safe in Hardware Town that I missed. So let's warp over there now and see if we can get that one open. There we go! Short combat rifle. I guess I just didn't check this close enough. I also zoomed in my, my Pip-Boy again because I needed to do that. Let's see, short combat rifle. Uh, there's a lot of people telling me that I should take this combat rifle, so I took it. I will work on modding it. Now for the thing that I saw in post that no one else saw. I actually didn't see this in post, and I didn't see this till just now. Actually, what the heck? I completely missed this room. That's mm. fun. What's that for? It's a board game, Piper. Oh my god, you've never played a board game! Well, if we can find a post-apocalyptic Settlers of Catan, then we're gonna play. The question now is, where is this thing? Because I remembered seeing it. Okay. It's up here. It, and I realize why, why no one saw it, because it's like super well hidden. Now you guys can probably see it. I don't know how I know this this in post. I really have no idea, but somehow I saw it. And I can actually get it open, so we'll get to find out what's in here. I'm really happy that I saw it. Yes. Uh, it's got some of this, some of this, some of this, silver pocket watch. Not a whole lot of anything, but we opened something in Piper like that, so that's good. Alright, now the question is, what are we doing today? Because we came back here and it was, you know, pretty lucky that we managed to grab that, that combat rifle, but we have to, you know, be working on stuff. Let's take a look at our quests, and I will explain. Uh, the first thing we are going to do is finish Confidence Man. I want to go ahead and get that that done. There's a lot of people pulling for some other miscellaneous quests, and I agree. Um, we need to try and take care of some more of those as well. But probably the most response I was getting was people that want to see fire support. Fire support needs to be done. And I agree, because actually, as of right now, besides the main quest, um, it's probably the oldest quest that we have. Which also explains why it's at, you know, the bottom of the list. So, I don't know if we're going to get to fire support today, but that's on my mind and we're going to be working towards that. For now, we need to finish Confidence Man, which means going back into Diamond City, finding Scarlet, and convincing her that she needs to meet Travis. Miss? I'm on a break right now. Hmm. Can I ask you something personal? It's about Travis. Travis? Really? Did he... did he mention me? Uh, I heard about the fight. Travis was... well, he was brave. Hmm. Yeah? Absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. <laughs> Threaten? Bribe? Uh, the only problem is, I just realized I'm not wearing my Charisma outfit. Now I'm like crazy killer Grit Jones and not Charisma Grit Jones. Eh. 
What are you so nervous about? What's the worst that can happen? Believe me, I can think of some pretty horrible things. Look, I'm just not ready for that. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. I mean, right now? Right now, what time is it? It's 11.30, I mean... Travis might be asleep. You sure you want to go see him, like, this second? Also, I wonder if she actually legitimately does go see him right now. Because he doesn't- he lives in the trailer, right? Wow, she actually does immediately go to see him. I was kind of hoping that, that, the, that they would actually have dialogue and, you know, if we came and saw it, then we could actually- Oh, well, maybe they still will. Or maybe the game just didn't assume that you would follow her in here. It's cool that she comes in here, but it doesn't look like there's any dialogue, or at least none that's loading. We will assume that they had a merry chat. Uh, now, it's back to the bar. Alrighty, back at the dugout inn. This is terrible. Oh, I knew it. Good luck then. I knew it! He was up to no good, and look what's happened now! You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. What are you talking about? I am talking about Vadim! They took him! Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay, and that they grabbed them and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out! You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. Whoa, um... Do you know where they took him? No, I don't know. He's the one that uh, has always dealt with them. I've tried to avoid them. Travis might know. You should ask him, please. I don't want anything to happen to Vadim. Okay, uh, looks like we need to go talk to Travis. Again. What's going on? Oh, you're still here. Hopefully you guys have actually chatted and haven't just... ...stood around. Where the hell is Bull? That asshole from the dugout. He's taken Vadim. What? Come on, that... That's not funny. Wow, you are an incredible ventriloquist. Good lord. Ugh. You think this is a joke. Well, it's not. I'm serious. <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Oh. Oh, man. Wow, is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. Look. The Deans had dealings with those guys before. Why they took him doesn't matter. Getting him back does. You're right. We've got to get him back. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we do, Travis. Where's this been hiding? Look, I don't, I don't really... I mean... I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. Whoa. It's probably going to be dangerous. I expect things will get ugly. I'm not... I'm... I'm not stupid. I know that. I've heard enough to know they'll probably hold up at the old Beantown Brewery. We've got to go in there, show them we mean business, and... and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll... I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. On good behavior, aren't you? Hi, Travis. How's it? How's it going? I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City, a place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is. Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Hmm. Is Diamond City really in danger? It's not like there's raiders pounding on the gate. Are you kidding me? There is a very real chance the city leadership has been infiltrated by an institute synth. A synth under the control of an organization widely known to kidnap or murder anyone that stands up to them. I'd take raiders at the gate any day of the week over that. Of course, making sure folks are actually listening. 
That's a battle in itself. Hmm. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Hmm. Scared, huh? Could have fooled me. I'm pushy, not crazy. Honestly, these days I'm more scared for my sister. I don't know what I'd do if something happened to her. But I'm not the only one with something to lose. That's why people deserve to know what's out there, good or bad. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain... He'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. Hmm. What happened after that? We made do. Sis was still pretty young at the time and Mom was... out of the picture. So we got by on the kindness of others for a while. Eventually, I saved up enough to book us both passage with a caravan and then we moved on up to the big city. Called it home ever since. Mm. I'm sorry about your dad. Thanks. It was hard after he was gone, but knowing that he died doing right, that's always made it easier. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? Well, there you go. Um, looks like we've had kind of a bit, uh, bit of a heart-to-heart -heart with Piper, which is nice. And now, I think we have uh, a good friend of ours waiting at Beantown Brewery. I'm going to show you where on the map that is because uh, we're going to warp there. We've uh, passed by it. Passed by it whenever we, in an early episode actually, when we cr uh, crossed from Grey Garden across the bridge to Oberland. It's over here. So we're going to warp over there when we walk out of this door. Alright, we're here at the Beantown Brewery, and let's take a look at the time. 6 a.m. Getting a jump on them here in the morning. Oh, thank God. You're here. So this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? I mean, I can't promise that, man, but we'll try. Just keep a cool head, okay? Don't think about it too much. Okay, right. Sure. Yeah. And we'll all walk out of this in one piece. Any, uh... Any last-minute advice? I've never done anything like this. Hmm. I go in first, and you stay behind me. Watch my back. Okay. Whatever you say. Seems like the safest thing to help Travis get through this. Um, to be honest, I don't know if he's an essential character or not, so... It's possible he could get killed, so we're going to do uh, everything in our our power to assure that he doesn't get killed. Traps, you know how to... You know how to be stealthy? Doesn't look like it, but uh, maybe you'll learn real quick. Now, just as a recap, I don't, I don't think I... 
need to recap this too fully because this all happened last episode. But uh, the local radio DJ for Diamond City is um, our good buddy Travis here, and he has a confidence issue. The bartender, Vadim, wanted to help him out, even though Yefim didn't. his brother didn't really want to do that. And uh, Vadim called in the help of a guy named Bull. It turns out Bull is a bad guy who really hated Vadim, and Vadim owed him money or something. So he used the opportunity to kidnap Vadim or something. So now, suddenly... Um, Travis needs a ton of confidence because he has got to work with us to get his his friend back. As he said, he doesn't have very many friends, so this is a big deal. Also, they're bowling with with bottles, and that is fascinating and awesome. Uh, it doesn't seem to be much around here. Some stuff that we could easily knock over that would cause problems, but we were in caution. From what? Eh, I don't know, but I'm not real concerned. Let's take a look at this uh, this terminal, find out what's on it. Could be something useful. Brewery... Bre that's, the, that's the hardest freaking word to say. Brewery tour info. Tours happen every half hour and can last anywhere from five to six minutes. Guests are treated to a bird's eye view of the brewery from our elevated walkway. The brewery is not liable for any patrons who fall from the walkway. Really? Yeah. Guardrails have been installed for their safety. Uh, tours include a $5 discount from purchases made at the gift shop and a complimentary tasting in the parking lot as guests leave. Temperature of complimentary tasting is not guaranteed. Tour price $25, complimentary tasting $5. So this is just very old and left over from, uh, from pre-war. Alright, let's keep looking around here. Blue, we're not alone here. That was a pretty good shot. Just kind of waited for the, the the moment that I I needed, and then boom! What you have on you, Mister Headless? Nothing of interest. All right. Uh, do 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 do. Gwen is out. Bottles. Cooking station. Mutants decorate this place. Ooh, burn! Did I get that? There we go. There's guys coming. I don't know when they're coming, but they're going to be coming. They they know we're here. They're close, too. It's all right, we'll get them. Travis knows to stay behind me. Let's look around just a uh, just a little bit before we move on. Make sure there's nothing here that we don't want. We good over here? I'm not trying to pickpocket you, Travis, just so you know. Doesn't seem to be anything really of interest. Anybody around? I see one. So that was a fun shot to do. Certainly they know. Ah, oh, dang, he moved. I was pretty quick on the draw there. I got myself all excited about that one. Now, there's plenty of you guys in here. Oh, God. Good one, Piper. Grenade, 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 grenade. He's shooting his bodies. It's one. A hey, bull. How's it going, pal? I'm going after bull. Stim pack myself. We're on the move. We're on the move. Okay, we're going down and not up. It's not the direction we needed to head. I'm not exactly sure how to get to bull, but we'll get there. Let's be careful, Travis. What's over here? There's quite a few guys around. I'm just not exactly sure where they are. Take this ammo. Oh, you guys are my guys. Oh, they're all just chilling. How the? How do you get over there? Oh, there's a walkway right here. If only I would have went left. Hey, bull, how's it going, pal? Takes care of that problem, doesn't it? Let's get on you, buddy. So you had some ammo, you have a pistol, which we don't need. Glow-sighted heavy pipe ball, and a... Greaser jacket and jeans! Now I'm good. Tower Tom. Apparently I took out another guy over here. He had a grenade. Helmeted spike armor. Huh. Interesting. And a stim pack. I'll take your stim pack. Well, good. Oh! Vadim! Hey. 
Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are a true friend. Yeah, man. No, no problem. You're welcome. You're welcome, Vadim. We weren't gonna leave you to these guys. You are a good man. <laughs> these idiots had caps and gems just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Ah, and Travis, I am surprised to thought. see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. Cool. Uh, Travis, hey. Hey there. Man. What a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. What are you gonna do now? Well... That's what I've been thinking about. After all this... I think about the things that had me worried so much and it just seems... Silly. You know? Like... Was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. Very cool. Confidence man completed. That is a nice little XP bonus. Um, the question is, what else is here? Because, um... See, I normally take my time going through as I'm killing people, but I kind of went into rampage mode and just slaughtered everyone, which uh, I'm not... <laughs> Honestly, it's fine. I enjoyed that. Um, let's see. Is there any, any of the stuff that I particularly want? Uh, not really. Um, nah, I'm, I'm good. Uh, oh, hey! Magazine. You're now able to build picket fencing at sediment workshops. I was kind of wondering when an issue of picket fences would allow me to build picket fences. Cool. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, normally I, I kind of show everything on screen. But because we killed everyone, I think I'm actually going to go through this off screen and only show things whenever I come across them that I think are uh, particularly interesting. You guys will have to let me know in the comments how, how you feel about that. I think it's a better approach because then I'm not showing every... Um, every waking thing that I'm- I'm doing Got it. It should save us a little time. So, oh, seriously, the hairbrushes. The hairbrush- they- they will never leave. Uh, so I'm gonna look around and see what I find, but first... We should look at this. Uh, let's try... does. Pretty sure... it's... star. I'm through. There we go. Okay, so we have quite a few, uh, quite a few notes here, and uh, I do like the lore, so we're not going to cut out any of the lore. Crew's getting restless. Still got plenty of beer, but food's getting low. Sent Sparta and her crew out of, uh, out of BADTFL, uh, to see if they could find something. But folks are going to start deserting if we don't turn up something edible soon. Closest reserves are the federal stockpile, but it seems Lily and... Uh, Red Turret's parents have never taught those bitches to share. Gonna have to make a move if we don't hear from Sparta soon. Next note, fucked up bad. We tried to storm the stockpile, but Lily, Red, and crew were dug in like ticks. Wiped out half our men before we could bolt. Dragon Hook managed to grab a couple of hostages. Maybe we can trade them for a couple of snack cakes. At least now we got fewer mouths to feed. Jackpot. Lily! It's fucking Lily! I'd recognize the bitch anywhere. Dreg brought the hostages from the raid up to my room, and the second I saw her, I knew we were saved. Now Red will have to deal with us, unless she prefers getting her sister back in pieces. So much food. Never seen so much food. When I told her we had her sister, Red thought I was full of shit. But one letter from Little Sis cleared things up real quick. Now the crates are pouring in, and so are the recruits. At this rate, we'll be able to make a move on Corvega or DB Tech before the year's out. Fuck. How the fuck did she get loose? I changed that bitch to the fucking floor. Was still half asleep when she came at me. I thought I was aiming at her leg. Now there's blood fucking everywhere. Gonna clean this up. Do something with the body. Ugh, this can't get out. Red's not gonna give us shit if she finds out her sister's dead. Problem solved. 
Rumor of a fat caravan train drifted in today. Whole crew went to hit it, except it never showed, because it didn't exist. While everyone was out, I stashed Lily's body in one of the vats. Think she even improved the flavor. That's one problem solved. But this gang's dead in the water unless the food keeps coming in, and that means Lily's leathers have to keep going out. I'm gonna need to find some more pens. Or Vega. Seems somebody took down Jared. Much as I hated that chem hungry bastard, he was no pushover. We're gonna need more guns. We took down Jared, right? We went to Corvega and did that. Yeah, it sucks for them. That's awesome. So that's like, this note wouldn't have been here unless we did that. That's really neat. Okay, so what we need to do um, is we're gonna have to look around in here. Apparently in one of the vats of beer, maybe we'll find that girl's body. We could we can get her out with this ladle. Uh, so I'm gonna look around and see if I if I can find her and also find other stuff. Um, but right now I'm just kind of looking around to see if there's anything of interest. I mean that's a pretty nice pistol. It's just not anything I I would use. So I might as well not grab it. Stim pack. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, someone said that I should take and wear the road leathers. I've had actually several requests because. It's, it's more or less, from what I understand, it's the same armor that I currently have on. If you go to here... Yeah, it's the same armor, except the road leathers actually, like... It's... it looks like you have clothes on. That's the difference. So now I actually look like I'm wearing clothes, so maybe that's for the best. Alright, um... Gonna check out the bodies, look around, see if I can find anything interesting. As I was wandering around, I actually... Oh, God. I found a door that we hadn't opened. And apparently, there's still some raiders in here. I, I thought for sure that we cleared them out. But I'm guessing not. Explosion! So that was crazy. And we're still not completely hidden. That's nuts! I actually thought for sure. In our hands anyway. I actually thought for sure that we this place was was cleared out, but I'm I'm quickly learning that it, it's not. Who else is here? I think there's someone behind the store. Okay, so this is nuts. Um, I was I was just certain. I was like, yeah, it's it's done. We did it, and uh, we're quickly learning that no, not quite. There are- there's gotta be someone else in here. Holy crap. I mean, I- I haven't wandered very far, either. Oh, it's roaches. <coughs> Hi, little buddies. Okay. Still, the fact that we saw... ...anyone else at all was... ...strange and- and frightening, because, like, where were they when all of the fighting was going on? That's just really odd to me. Alright, so, anything of interest in here? Before I move on, also drops. Oh, that takes us back down to the uh, the beginning. Should we be ready to do that? Oh, there's another terminal. Check it uh, for additional lore. Data, data corrupted. Data, data corrupted. Data, data corrupted. How about projections? Full year capital spending is now estimated to increase over the previous year thanks to budget tightening and a lowering of quality control in the product, including an increase in the water to work ratio. Brand. Management has also announced a marketing push of Bunker Hill Brew to lower income markets, which we all know spend a larger percentage of disposable income on beer, malt, and beverages. Gross margins are speculated to increase well into 2078. Once again, um, not particularly useful for us, but still fun little lore to, uh, to read. And, uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate its inclusion. Uh, anything else in here? Not particularly. There's also this. Okay. I'm trying not to include... <laughs> it's just my- it's my nature. To just include... Everything, I suppose. It's not that I'm trying to do that, but I- I like looking around and I like, uh... I do like showing it off. Um, but it doesn't seem that there's anything... Particularly... Interesting... Around here. Did I already check this dude? He had a stim pack, which is helpful. Otherwise, we're we're good. So yeah, I just came up up some stairs. Maybe there maybe there are more people here. I don't know. I still haven't found the uh, you know the vat. Oh, here's another person. Oh, that was the guy that was with Bull. 
Oh, he had farmhand clothes, which is neat. Lightweight boiled chest piece. Middle leg. Yeah, nothing of interest here. I'm gonna keep looking around. I don't know if we can find that girl's body in the in the vat or not. I don't know if that's a real thing. But I'm uh I'm gonna look. Found a handmade tripwire. Let's go ahead and disarm that. Which is helpful. What were they trying to protect? A gun brace. We disarmed as well, even though it doesn't look like there's any gun in it. Pack of cigarettes. I'm pretty sure that the only reason this was here is to take you... There's an, there was an elevator that goes straight up to where Bull was. I think you could have snuck in here and done it stealthily if you wanted to. I chose to do the approach where we just shoot everyone, but that's another way you could do this mission. I also found some naughty teddy bears. For, uh, for what it's worth. Um, uh, we've seen a few teddy bears put in, in interesting positions as we've went through the world of Fallout 4, and it looks like this place is, uh, is no different. So I've looked around this entire place, and, uh, I, I, I never found anything that would lead me to believe that we can find that girl's body. Uh, I was really hoping we, we would, but there's nothing that I found that would suggest that. So if you guys know something I don't, feel free to let me know. We're going to exit not the way we came in, but this other door, just because there is a some sort of back door that's locked. So I vote that we use this uh, way to exit the facility. Holy crap. I was so close. There we go. Back into the Commonwealth. Nice. You're pretty good at that. Like, maybe next time you're in my house, I need to keep an eye on you good. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, Piper. That means a lot. Um, sometimes there's additional stuff outside, like additional uh, raiders. Doesn't look like that this time. Sometimes there's also stuff chilling outside. Um, actually, not that, I, not that I see. Unless there's stuff over here. We're actually pretty close to the train track, so we could kind of check that out as well. But I'm not... God, that... That music, where it's just like... It sounds like, uh... Like a saw, is so freaking scary, man. Alright, nothing, uh... Doesn't seem to really be anything much around that I can see. And I think we've already... I think we've already seen... This. Because this is actually the bridge that we... That we crossed... Way, way, way earlier. Okay, um... You, I, I would really like some input on how I handled that, because I didn't show every single thing in there, obviously, but... You know, I, I think I showed the interesting stuff. You know, I, I don't think that there was anything you guys really missed, so I didn't bother uh, showing it. Uh, now, we're gonna take a look at our, our quest, and we got rid of a quest, which is super exciting. Um, we could work on some miscellaneous stuff, which we definitely need to do, um, but if we look at it, explore the combat zone, we're not doing the witchcraft thing right now. We could clear the feral ghouls. We need to check out that. That's in Diamond City. Uh, we need to find a mutated fern flower. Which, um... Where is that? Forest Grove Marsh. Yeah, sure, what the heck. We're, uh, we're not... We're not far from there. We'll, uh, place a marker and... We could probably walk. Honestly. We'll just walk and we'll, we'll take care of that. So that's a, that's a little, uh miscellaneous quest that we could do. Piper, um, how do you handle the great outdoors? Do alright? So you look like you were having some trouble walking. Alright, we're not terribly far away. I don't exactly know what we're in for, what we're supposed to be looking for. And, uh, that military frequency AF-95... Oh, that's Oberlin. I was like, God, what is this? They got turrets! And I realized, that's... that's my place. They work for me. My beautiful fence. You guys should really keep your gate closed. Just as a uh, FYI. I don't want to have to come back and, and have to protect you guys. It's kind of nice to be just wandering around again. I mean, I, I know that we do that every few episodes, so it's not like a, a big deal. But I always really look forward to, to when we get to do that. Wild carrot flower. There's a flag over here. What's this all about? Relay Tower 1DL-109 with a very dead utility protectron and a terminal. Huh. What is this? Tower status inactive. Extend satellites to amplify signals in surrounding area. I don't know what that means. 
But I did it anyway because... <laughs> I don't know, I, I like pressing buttons. I'm pretty much Dee Dee from Dexter's Lab. Okay, I extended the satellites. Distress signal found. Boston City Works Beacon signal found. Huh. So I actually found some, some signals because of that. Alright, um... Let's see. Distress signal. I just spent several minutes playing around with the, the audio and it... For whatever reason, the distress signal and the, the Boston thing that we unlocked are really low. Like, if we go over to Diamond City Radio, it's fine. But we can't really hear the... I'm just gonna leave the distress signal on. Maybe it'll become clearer at some point. But right now, I can't even hear it, which is... A bit of a problem. I'll just leave it on. Maybe we'll... Okay, no we won't. Because it's gone. How about this? Does this get clearer? Okay. Looks like a reactor malfunction some level two. Just unlock the gates down. I don't yeah. know if it's getting clearer or not. I'm gonna need a manual override. Jangles the moon Look, monkey? Spiegel. I know you've got well, crusty matters like that latest copy from the figure out a good use for it. When you find time, let me out, okay? So, Meanwhile, the radio is a little clearer, but... It's still too hard to really make out. It's still very low. Oh, a basketball! This has been a pre-recorded message. That's interesting. Message repeats in three seconds. So now it's starting to get a little clearer. I think it's getting clearer as we go this direction. Okay. Looks like a reactor malfunction in sub-level D. System locked the gates down. Again. I guess I'm gonna need a manual override. Look, Spiegel, I know you've got pressing matters like reading that latest copy of LaCroix to attend to. But when you find time, let me out, okay? Meanwhile, I guess I'll loop this thing and have a smoke. Try what you're doing up there, you lazy skeezer. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Okay, um, so... Boston City... It, it didn't give us any, um... I mean, from what I can tell, it didn't give us any map update or... Uh, any sort of... You know, quest or anything. So I'm not exactly sure uh, what the, the the issue is. If you guys know what that is, go ahead and tell me because it it was hard enough to make that out, and I'm not exactly sure what they want me to do. Anyway, there's a door here that goes to operations. To be honest, I don't really know where I am. I'm getting close to a building though. I'm supposed to be going to a marsh to get a particular fern. So I can make drugs. And this is the one that's the guy's paying me very well. I like you, Piper. See, every time I tried to grab stuff, Codsworth was like, that's rubbish, sir. But you're like, yeah, you could you could find something good. Which I agree. Well, this town's like underwater. Holy crap. It's probably irradiated too. Now, I do actually. Someone's been here. Pretty recently, if they've made these little walkways and stuff. I mean, I don't know exactly how long ago. We discovered Forest Grove Marsh. And somewhere in here is exactly what we're trying to find. Oh, wait. We're in danger? What are we in danger from? What seems to be the problem? There's... ...clearly something here, but what is it? Oh god, ow! Oh, it's it's a ghoul! Hi buddy, how are you? I took some rads! And now you're gonna take some death! Oh, I missed, or something. That's unfortunate. I'm still missing. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be hitting you, but I don't seem to be. I'm about to lay into you, buddy. Is that what happened to this place? To be honest, I guess it seems likely the entire place is underwater. The whole city probably turned into zombies. The problem is, if I don't be careful. Oh God! Hi. You say if I don't be careful, I'm gonna be in trouble. Piper, are you okay? Cause you're like sitting in irradiated water. It just doesn't seem like. The safest solution to that problem. Yeah, you should get up and, uh, get back up on the roof. We are after this thing. I see- God, they're coming out of the woodworks. I can see one coming over there. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. That's right, stay down. 
God, what the heck? I, I figured it couldn't have been this easy. I figured there had to have been someone else here. You know, people ask me, why don't you use fats more? It's because it's fun to shoot them. Fallout 4 is a really fun shooting game. But I'm going to take this one out. No, I'm not, because it's through a freaking thing. Watch your back. Okay. Oh, wait, there's still more. Okay, there is a lot of these sons of guns. But I'm working on them. Jeez. We're gonna have the entire village dead. You know, I feel really bad about it. But, you know, not too bad. Let's get some shots in on this guy. Boom. So I'm- I'm- I'm just out here trying to get a flower. Of some sort. And, of course, things are going a little awry. I feel bad for Piper because Piper's just chilling up there. Wait for him to come- you want some of this, you piece of crap? Once more. With feeling. Pretty sure that was the front of your face. Just came off. There's still another one. It's chilling over there. Don't move. Or move. Please move. It's exactly what I wanted you to do. It'll find a way over here, won't it? Does it know how to use the walkways? I mean, there's clearly one still over there. Oh, you're Piper. I almost shot you, I'll have you know. Where is it? It's coming. Get it, Piper. Nice. Okay, so, um... Welcome to Forest Marsh. There's another one. Jeez! Where are they coming from? Don't you run. Don't you run. Get it, Grit. Holy crap. I haven't even had time to, like, look at my perk chart or anything for getting to level 15. It's just been non-stop slaughter since we arrived. Are we done? Did we do it? I think we did it. And now... Harvest. And that was it. And, and for good measure... Just because it took so long to get over here, I'm grabbing a few of these. Maybe the guy I want more than one. Okay. So, uh, that's been an adventure. Uh, that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, now that we're... Can I take any more of those? I guess not. Now that we're over here... We might want to explore over here. This place looks nasty, but we have a hazmat suit, so we could... We could probably take nearly an entire episode and just look into this town. But that... Is up to you guys. So... What do you want to see? What is it that you want to see... Grit Jones and Piper accomplish next. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more Steven Plays. Thank you, Piper. Why are you waiting in it? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Whatever. You know what? You do you. You do you. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time for more Steven Plays. Fallout 4. See you guys next time for more Steven Plays, Fallout 4. You're... You're... What are you shooting now? You found another ghoul. What are you, Why are you putting us back into combat? Piper, I'm trying to end the episode. Piper. Okay, I'm shooting the wrong stuff. Whatever. Maybe I can hit it from here. I can't. Piper, can you... Piper, I'm doing everything I can. You're gonna have to take some responsibility for your actions. Okay, can you please stop getting the ghouls pissed off? Trying to end an episode, for goodness sakes.